Hey everybody, let's make a nice simple coil using our power of Houdini. This will also serve as a basic uh, demonstration of the layout. So right now we're in the scene mode. If I were to try to put a circle down here, it would put it, but it does some more work for you. For instance, it puts down a circle object, then inside here it puts down a circle. Now, if I were to delete this, and I wanted to put a circle down here. See how there's no circle? Because we're in the scene node. What I could do down here is put in a geometry node and I could rename this thing coil, that's what it'll be. And you get this file node here. We don't need the file. And then I could type in a circle because this is room because we're in the geometry node here. Alright, looks pretty good. Let me do a transform type in transform here. I want to move the circle out this way. If you see two copies of the circle, what you're really looking at is the display of the circle. And this is invisible or it's ghosted. You can tell this stuff over here ghosted. And if I click on X form, you see that it's right here now. I'm hitting W to go between shaded and wireframe. Let me go to the top and change the primitive type to NURBS curve. And now if I click on here, we have this thing. Let me do a copy. This will be a handy tool. Throw it on a copy sop. I'm going to pull a bunch of copies up here and let me translate this to maybe point 0.2. And I want to rotate each one as I do it. Now take a look over here. You can kind of see how this is the beginning of a coil make that a little bit quicker. Let me go ahead and try that out. And I could just keep making coils hitting the right mouse button and see how I zoom in like that. And that is the number of copies. Works pretty clean. Now down here I want to put on a skin and this will skin the items. And that is pretty fun. Now one final thing we need some caps so let me put on a cap here and I'll do end cap rounded over here and end cap rounded now if I hit W I'll show that thing first there is the coil and you could adjust the length of it procedurally going down here in and out so what do you think coil now remember when the geometry node if I hit you to go back up or just hit this key this is now the scene node and this is where the geometry will go on make sure this thing is no rows or columns I just realized I have to pull the copy back up okay if we go back there and I hit up this is now the scene node and this is where I could transform rotate scale the object Okay, so that's the coil, and I hope you had a good time.